I want to ask you a question. Does it make sense to make something smaller and bigger at the same time? Think about it. Is that really logical? Well, that's what Mastopexy Breast Dog does every time. In our last video, we talked about how to tell whether you need a breast lift or a breast implant. If the nipple to fold distance exceeds the limit set by high five, then there's too much excess skin. So a mastopexy seeks to remove all the excess skin and make the breast perkier, firmer, tighter, but most importantly, the skin envelope is smaller. A breast implant seeks to make that same breast envelope bigger. So what sense does it make to do both of those at the same time? These two operations are diametrically opposed. They're fighting each other. And with that fight comes at least 12 variables that surgeons can't control during the healing process, making this a very risky and uncontrollable operation. If a breast needs a lift, it needs it because it didn't hold its own weight well over time, either through weight gain and loss or pregnancy and nursing. So a surgeon can operate on your tissue but no surgeon can change the genetic qualities of your tissue. So once we lift it, you're always gonna be more prone to what your body's already shown you. You're gonna be more prone to stretch. So having said that, anyone who needs a lift to begin with is never really a great candidate for a breast implant because a breast implant is nothing but fake weight. What kind of sense does it make when you hear that someone had a breast lift and had a 450cc implant put right back in? Remember, perkier and bigger never go hand in hand. Dr. Tebbit's approach to this dilemma is staging the procedures. Do the breast lift first, then wait six months, and then remeasure the nipple to fold distance. If it hasn't stretched under the weight of your own tissue more than 20%, then it's reasonable to put in an implant. But what if it has stretched more than 20% in just six months under the weight of just your breast tissue? Does it really make sense to add the extra weight of an implant? Most surgeons will do this operation at the same time because they're scared to tell you you need two operations. And quite frankly, most patients don't wanna hear it. But the beauty of staging this operation is you could end up being happy with a perky, firmer breast and never ever have to deal with everything that goes with adding an implant to your body and what that weight will do to your tissue over time. I know it's hard. If you need a lift, then you've probably always been pretty busty. So it's kind of hard to imagine not having the same type of look or certainly being smaller but there are certain things that you simply can't change and neither can we. So it's best that you know what we know so we can all be on the level playing field and understand what all of our options are before you decide to make a change to your body or simply hope that a procedure will do what you want it to do. The moral of this battle between lift and implant is that they should really never be on the same battlefield at all. There is a type of breast that needs a lift there is a type of breast that needs an implant. Rarely is there a type of breast that can handle both successfully.